G'day guys, well, pretty excited because tonight we are going to have our first light with my new camera, the QHY294C Pro. I'm a bit excited, but first we need to get set up. First step, mount level check. Step two, counterbalance sharp and weight installed. Step three, rasa installed. Step four, balanced. Before we get talking about what we're going to be capturing tonight, long-time viewers of my channel may have spotted something a little bit different about this, besides only being one raster instead of two. Um, my power cable to my mount has changed a little bit. I've, uh, I've decided to reroute the cable, the power cable gone through the mount, up the top, out of the top of the head, and plugged straight into my um, equal computer. Now normally I plug this directly into my power bank or my um, battery system but the reason I wanted to do this is so that way after an imaging sequence is complete now with Nina I can completely shut down everything, turn off all the switches, turn off all the power to the, uh, to the unit so that way all the mount is all turned off and uh, we're cool and, and done and, and I don't have to worry about any power going through the system um, throughout the earlier hours of the morning uh, until when I decide to wake up and start pulling it all down. Now some people have asked me how I power my Eagle 4 computer, so I'll show you. So here it is, the big 80 amp hour thumper battery pack with my 600 watt uh, inverter on top. I don't use this. What I do use is this guy right here. So it's a Victron Energy um, uh, converter. Uh, yeah, DC to DC uh, isolated converter. And what it does is it sends a consistent 12.4 volts um, to my Primaloo Lab Eagle 4 computer. The great thing about this device here is that you can actually adjust the voltage going through. So because the power cables are so long, you lose voltage throughout your system. However, what I can do is bump up the voltage um, regulation on this to make sure that my readout on my Eagle 4 is around that 12.4 um, volts. So here it is, the new QHY294C Pro camera. And uh, I'll tell you what, I love it. I've had to uh, make myself a bigger uh, mask to suit the, the size of this camera's um, body because it is quite large compared to the ZWO294MC Pro that I used to run. I'm also still running the uh, Astronomic UV IR L1 cut filter with this camera. So uh, I'm really excited to see exactly what sort of image we get tonight. On that, we're going to be imaging the Southern Pallides. That's right, we have our own Pallides in the Southern Hemisphere. It's not too far from Eta Carina Nebula, which uh, I know some of you guys up in the Northern Hemisphere would love to image one day. And uh, I'm just pretty lucky that we can image it here. Um, like Andromeda Galaxy. These guys can uh, image Andromeda Galaxy really well, whereas I can't, so I guess there's some compromises somewhere. Might have to come visit these guys one day. Anyway, we are just about uh, getting ready to uh, start our imaging session, so we're going to wait for it to get a little bit darker, and then we are going to start imaging our first light with this camera on Southern Pallides. Mm -hmm. 